Hello everyone, and welcome back to the beautiful fields of Littlewood, where I am still learning how to use my earthbending powers in order to be able to basically transform the world, which is still pretty exciting. Uh, I really love that I can just come in here and I can actually like come down and be like, oh, you know what? I think that this lake should actually be bigger. And then voila, just like that, the little fish fish are gonna have more room to roam. I can't believe I am so powerful, but hopefully I will use those powers in the name of good. Uh, and hopefully I can come see what Willow wants. Hey Willow, I finished the really big marketplace and I really like it. Can we sell a bunch of plants over there? Oh, actually, I think Willow just told me to sell a bunch of plants over there. I was supposed to go and find some of these. The tiny little wiggly, how do I get it? I got it. The tiny little wiggly weeds. Uh, and oh, it looks like there's a weed I need to collect over there. Well, no fear. I'll be able to go ahead and let's just go ahead and whoa, 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 whoa. I want to elevate ha ha and just like that I have made my way to that tiny little weed and Willow apparently said that if I go down you can move objects out of the way in build mode you can make room for the marketplace once you have it built you should try selling some of those pesky weeds any items that you sell will turn into dew drops the next day Awesome! From apparently some random traders who will wander about town, which I think is freaking adorable. Uh, so where can I sell these cute little weeds? Because I want people to come and appreciate how adorable they are. Alright, there we go. <gasps> Look at that! You can just line them up at the marketplace! I'm selling a bunch of plants! This is great. I'm sure if you boil those, they'll make some excellent spring onion of friendship soup. And that's a nice reference to our Sturdy Valley series in case you guys haven't seen it. Uh, and then who's this guy again? Look, I've got amnesia, so it's kind of hard to remember these things. And Dalton! What's up, Dalton? Hey, Siri. This is the cozy house that you built for me. Thanks a lot! Now us heroes can finally get a chance to relax. Oh, you're a hero too, dude? Oh, I love how he's got a nice apple! Dalton, can I have that? I'm gonna plant it and make some trees. So I had this really cool idea for Mosswood. But when I woke up, I forgot. Oh, you and me both. Amnesia must be contagious. Perhaps it's a side effect of the Dark Wizard. What kind of amazing world would that be, actually? Where, like, you had to worry about little amnesia spells that just sort of wandered through in loops, left over from some cataclysmic fantasy fight between the heroes and the Dark Wizard? That would be really cool. I'm gonna have to store that idea away for later. I guess I'll just tell you all of the funny jokes I've heard since we last met. Okay, 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 you ready? Two orgs walk into a shop. One says to the other, Hey, do you think they serve human here? Guess what the other one says? Wait, I just remembered my idea for Mosswood! <laughs> okay, Dalton. This town needs a shop. It would probably attract a lot of travelers. Well, we did just set up a marketplace. Each new person could help you regain a mem your memory, too. Oh, what? Oh, cool! A little general shop. Alright, I can get that built, Dalton. Oh gosh darn it, now I forgot the second half of that joke. Maybe the Dark Wizard got my memory too. I'm telling you, he left a bunch of like, lose your memory spells scattered everywhere. Uh, so I wonder if Dalton, I mean, if he's got such a bad memory, I don't know if he'd be the best person to run our general shop. So maybe I should build our general shop down here instead. Alright, let's see. So if I want to build a general shop... I only need five wooden planks and five plain bricks to build it, but let's go ahead and put it down next to, let's see, and can I put down any decor yet? Not yet. But we'll go ahead and install the general shop here. Look at that! We've already built it! This shop is perfect! Oh yeah, I stocked some neat tools. You can have them if you like. These gloves will be useful for picking fruit and planting crops. That pickaxe will break any stones or ores around here. And that axe can be used to chop down trees for spare wood. Nice! Good job, Dalton! Now that my shop is open, I'll have to stock it with cool things every Tuesday and Thursday. I'll have everything from basic items to fancy, fancy furniture pieces. Thanks again for your help! This will definitely attract new travelers to Mosswood. I mean, that's great, Dalton, but really, if I knew you, you were going to try to run it. Oh, and we could go ahead and gain two stars, get a Dulce coin. I'm so curious about- Oh! Three stars unlocks more furniture and items! So we need to have dewdrops to help him upgrade his shop to do that. Maybe I should go ahead. New tool unlocked. Oh, I get all these for free! Sweet! Thanks, Dalton! That's like really doing me a solid. I appreciate it. 
All right, does that mean I can, oh, I can go ahead and break these stones now. And now I have a little mining experience. Heck, how do I check like on all of my stats again? Is that in the journal? There's the town folks met. Oh, here are my hobbies. That's right, because we don't need to worry about things anymore. It is the happily ever after. I've already achieved a lot in life. Um, level one, level one, level one. Huh. Yeah, apparently my hobbies, so just like general hobbies can level up. Oh, look at all these stats. I've already walked a thousand steps. That's amazing. I love little stats like that. I have, uh, and maybe I can chop down this tree for more wood. I'll miss you, tree, but hopefully I'll be able to plant more of you soon. All right, get these rocks all taken care of. And hopefully I'll be able to do some fishing soon. Heck, this place is already starting to feel more like home. Also, where does this go? Huh, I guess that leads to out of Mosswood, but I've got enough I need to take care of over here. All right, so let's try to tidy this up. And then I think I saw somebody up here, but let's make the path a little nicer if we're gonna have a bunch of people like coming to our town. Uh, oh yeah, it goes under flooring. And I want a dirt road, please. There we go. And then can I actually, how do I remove? I'll lower or destroy, aha, huh, look at that. So that's how I can actually start tidying up the way that the road doesn't quite match in a few places. Uh, and then hopefully, like down here, I could go ahead and maybe like clear this out of the way. And I might be able to plant some trees. That's what I want people to see when they come into Mosswood, like first thing, it's just this beautiful array of trees. Also, I did not mean to make a lake there, but you know what? We'll go ahead and we're gonna put a little lake down here. It's an accidental lake, but nobody needs to know that. We'll, we'll fill it in as time goes on. All right, maybe I can smooth out a little bit more of the dirt road. I mean, if people are gonna come to our shop, we, we want them to at least think we're a little bit organized, right? All right, then let's smooth this one out just a teensy bit. I'm not usually one for having things super nice and tidy like that, to be honest. Usually I like it to be like a little bit more organic. But we'll have to wait for the true organicness until I figure out how to plant plants. Also, I could have sworn I saw somebody hanging out up here. Oh, there he is! Dudley! Siri, is that really you? My goodness, how much you've grown. Thanks! I'm sure you've grown too, sir. How are you? Willow sent me a letter saying that you survived the fight with the Dark Wizard. I was so worried about you on your adventures. Hmm, you don't remember much. That's okay, Siri. What matters is the world is safe now because of you. Oh dear, am I going to get handled with very gentle kid gloves because they're like, oh no, the hero doesn't remember her own life. Maybe this old man can lend a hand with rebuilding this town. Oh, Dudley, thanks. I'm sure we've apparently met before. I don't remember you, but I feel like everybody is being very nice. Apparently I, I did good work and it's just nice to know that even if I can't remember them, these people are willing to be there for me. That's really sweet, you know? All right, I'm gonna put Dudley's house over here because I think that's a nice spot for it. And then we'll give him a little, a, just a little teeny path like this too. A little bit organic, kind of mix miss mixed up like that, there we go. And eventually I will give him a fun little garden. I remember the day you first set off on your adventure. My goodness, what an exciting day that was. By the way, come by my house when you get a chance. I will, I just built it, what do you think about it? I have no idea what it looks like inside. It's pretty bare, Dudley. Thanks for building a house for me, Siri. It's perfect, I think it will make many good memories here. Oh, Dudley, apparently you lost your home at some point in the past, and I'm really sorry to hear that, but I hope you'll like the new one I built you. It's part of my unknown powers. Speaking of memories, do you remember how to fish? Oh, I think they're just trying to take their like poor, exhausted, memory-addled hero and be like, that's okay, Siri. You just have a good life now. This is like happily ever after. Aw. Hmm, so it looks like I'll have to teach you all over again. <gasps> you taught me how to fish once upon a time, Dudley. Oh, he gave me the novice fishing rod. Fishing requires a lot of patience. Be sure to cast your line next to a fish, not on top of it. Then you have to wait for it to bite before reeling it in. 
Oh, Dudley, thank you! I will try to build you. And let's see, can I build him, like, furniture? <gasps> I can build Dudley a bed! Oh my gosh, I can actually decorate their houses. Okay, Dudley, you get a bed. Do you want to hang out? Let's do it. I'll follow your lead, Siri. <gasps> and I could just have everybody come hang out with me. Dudley, here. Here, we'll go fishing together. But since you like fishing, I'm going to give you a little a little place to fish behind your house. Behold my earthbending powers. Oh, wait. I can't put water up here. But I can put water down here. Ha ha. All right. This is going to be tricky to figure out how to make this just right because here we'll go like as far in as I can okay so I can do that because you can only have the stairs straight up and down so that means I'm gonna need to possibly come out like this like so and then I need the flooring there we go, look at that. All right, so now I have managed to make the flooring right here. Okay, okay, this is good. Lower and destroy this part and this part. Um, and then we can make a nice lake over here for Dudley behind his house. Oh, that makes me really happy. I might even put like a little island on the lake because why not? Maybe even a couple little islands. All right, and then he can come and do some fishing, but I'm definitely gonna need to make it a little easier. There, what about that? And then let's try lowering maybe this piece there. So hopefully, and then elevating maybe this piece so that we'll be able to walk around the sides of the lake. And then maybe lowering. Yeah! See, that's using my, my powers for the sake of good, right? Dudley, there's no fish here yet, but I'm sure they'll show up at some point in the future. Also, I apparently have... Let's see, lower... Oh, okay, so we're gonna need to elevate. Alright. There we go. Hopefully you'll have some nice fish fish back here, Dudley. And you'll be able to enjoy fishing. Oh, he found some dewdrops! <gasps> Dudley, you found some dewdrops in the rock! That's so cool! Here, let's go fishing together, old man. You and I are apparently old friends. I think this would be very special to do. Alright, that's too far away from the fish, isn't it, Dudley? Alright, let's try this. <gasps> Dudley, it's a lily pad! It's a lily pad! I could not have asked for better! Oh my gosh! Where is this lily pad? Holy cow! I want I want to decorate with a lily pad. Like where where am I holding objects? I have no idea. Items. There we are. <gasps> Dudley, a lily pad. I don't want to sell it at the market. I want to be able to like decorate with it. That's fantastic. All right, I like fishing with old man Dudley. Oh, I scared the fish. Here, we can do a little bit of mining. Wow, he's finding us a lot of dewdrops. Holy cow, Dudley. I really appreciate that. He's a nice guy, isn't he? Look over here. I found some dewdrops. Oh, and now apparently it's nighttime. All right, Dudley, you and I, we've had a good time. I'm going to come over and we're actually going to sell our lily pad. And then I think I need to let him go to sleep soon. But before I do, let's see if we can get these last two fish. Oh, <gasps> and he found some dewdrops from that. We got a minnow. And a tetra, oh, tiny fish. I wonder if you can like build an island one day because that would be really cool. I bet one day we'll be able to start clearing away a whole bunch of the, um, here, we'll sell one minnow and one tetra. All right, Dudley, I probably should let you go ahead and rest now because apparently it's snooze time. How do I, how do I tell Dudley like, thanks for spending the day with me. You can go to sleep now. Do I take him back home? There you go, Dudley. Okay, Dudley. Uh, this is fine. <laughs> oh, there we go. Stop hanging out. Good night, Dudley. Fishing requires a lot of patience. Be sure to cast your line next to a fish, not on top of it. 
Thank you, Dudley. I, I understand how you would want to repeat those things because apparently I'm going to forget basically everything. Wow! Holy cow, look at how much we went up with Dudley's like friendship and Dalton's because we have spent the day with them. Oh, and this is where you start gaining a whole bunch more experience. Apparently I have great merchanting experience already. And it's already the next day. Yay! Adept friend maker. And I, apparently I got a good night's rest, so I'm already feeling confident. And I have mail! Dear Siri, I've been buying some of your items at the marketplace. I can't believe you sold all this cool stuff. Congrats on le hitting level 5 in merchanting from Willow. I love the idea that Willow was just waiting by the sidelines and like cheering me on and like, oh, I'm gonna help Siri out and I'm gonna go ahead and buy the lily pad she put out. That's adorable. Dear Siri, I just wanted to say you're such an inspiration to all the townsfolk. A hundred dewdrops? Willow, my girl, I think that I think I can read the writing on the wall and like, uh, you gotta give me a little bit of time to figure out like what kind of relationship I would like, but thanks for being okay compliment. Well, now I really wish you could remember all of the fun times we've had in the past. Oh my. Okay. Um, I'm sure I will one day. Okay, uh, talk. With a marketplace, new travelers and merchants will appear to buy your items. I recommend selling any weeds and meteorites! Okay, that fight with the dark wizard must have been something else. That you find lying around. They actually sell for quite a lot of dewdrops. Thank you, Willow. My goodness! Look at all the stuff we've made! There's a ton of money over here! Who knew, like, the kind of life that we- 225 dewdrops?! Are you kidding me?! Who knew what, like, these weeds and a bunch of dewdrops would sell for so much? I'm pretty proud about that. Or, and a bunch of, like, fish fish would sell for so much. But alright guys, I love this! I love that old man Dudley has come to join us. I love that I am making friends. I want to make Dalton a cute little bed. I love that I can actually make them beds, which is ridiculously cute. Uh, and hopefully I'll have another great day of hanging out with everyone and maybe I can go ahead and cough cough, donate the dewdrops just like Willow donated them to me, so we can start getting more things done here in Mosswood. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for all of the adventures we're starting to stumble on into. And if you would like to- oh, I got some- Oh! I craft the plain bricks out of the rocks I've been collecting! <gasps> I get it! Oh, that's so cool! And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and be nice to your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye